All right, welcome to Little Hope. Uh, I have a haircut now. I'm pretty cleaned up. Uh, hopefully, people like it. It looks pretty clean, so I can probably stick with it. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm recording this right after work, so my eyes go heavy. But anyways, since we played Man of Dan, we're going to go ahead and get back into this one. Because I'm gonna upload this right after the ending of the first episode, or for the, uh, after the first game. So the ending for the first game, I'm gonna upload this after that, or on the same day. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this. Oh. Meh, wrong one. Uh, play alone. I also did know they have another game out. That was pretty interesting. The, they have a new game coming out on the 22nd called House of Ashes. I played this without knowing that. I didn't do this because I knew this game was releasing. Now that I do, I'm gonna buy that. So, we're gonna play House of Ashes on release day. And, let me go ahead and adjust these, actually. There we go. I haven't even started playing this game yet, though. Uh, much less even doing testing for, like, its actual audio. So, let's go ahead and just get into it. Yes. Game is so quiet though. What the hell? Use the controller setup. I thought the game is just super quiet. Hmm. Graphically, it's still pleasing. It's still just a nice game to look at. Hmm. Very ominous. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? 
just shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. Mm. It doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Damn you, game. Looking forward to House of Ashes whenever that release. It's going to be more military based. It's going to be based more around the military. So that's going to be cool to look into as well. House. Screenshot. Stop it, Jay. Oh shit, that's you creepy. Hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's mm. talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. Hold on. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing <laughs> in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Hmm. <gasps> this another case of being laid off. Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's mm -hmm. no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came and left. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. Hmm? Damn ice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Right there. Jackson out of the car, 
Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Mm. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hmm. Like I said, apologies if I'm quiet. I'm sleepy and I'm just like paying attention to the game. I'm super focused. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Just riding along for the actual story. Hey! Quit acting crazy! <sighs> Jesus. Hey, sweetheart. That scared the shit out of me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Oh, shit. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Hmm. Box and matches. Interesting. sister mom is real worried about her it's okay dad 10 years checking on her right now you want to try raising a family like this the devil himself would struggle with you guys there we go get some movement in this piece Wait a second, the girl was reading this in the, uh, I think, uh, Julia was reading this in, uh, Man of Medan. I remember seeing it. Cool, they have, like, little small details that lead back into their old games. New England Witch Trials.
My eyes. Air swing. Just the tire swing. Son of a bitch clock. Anthony, where the hell are you? It was so silent. Anthony, where are you? Damn it. Damn it. Could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? Yo, what the fuck? It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh shit. The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? Megan? They're about to lose the whole fucking house. Come on! Break the window! Come on, move! Move! Damn it. Shit, man. I got 
gotta get Megan out! Holy shit, that was a little girl? They set a little girl on fire! This game, dude. Wow. That's brutal. What have you done? Mom, stop! Shit, man. Jesus. Got a whole massacre just starting the game. We've seen this already in that last game. Hello there, curator. Hello. Uh, and welcome back. I have hi. a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Mm. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, Look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an mm. infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends mm. on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true but uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do not to help you <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere you see not my place mm. okay. but I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope 
that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Mm. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. I think I almost had the same haircut as the curator. I do enjoy a good the funeral. curator. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's Aw, oh, man. The funeral of the family we saw in the beginning. It was Tanya's or Tanya's boyfriend. The one in the car that we saw. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Ghost driver's gone. Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ah. Ah. Twenty college student, amiable Fuck. or amiable my phone? in the defensive. Abrasive <sighs> <sighs> understanding. Hey, anyone up there? These characters reflect the characters in the beginning, actually, because she looks like Tanya. He looks like the father, and then Andrew looks like Andy. Damn. Daniel looks like Dennis, and Angela looks like the mother. Huh. Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? 
Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Uh. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Oh, so now they have QTEs. Oh, man. At its finest. Man and Medan, I don't think, had any QTEs. So Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. I don't think leaving the bus is smart. I'm staying here. You can't stay. No one's been down this road since we crashed. No one knows we're here. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick. It's better to move into the town than stay at the bus because you're low on resources. You have to get out of there somehow. Alright. With that, meeting the characters. Alright. Okay, so after meeting the characters, I feel like it's been long enough. So let's go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.